Yes, kamusta? Tapos ka na ba? Kaya mo pa ba? Sumagot ka! Sumagot ka! Sumagot ka! Hi! I'm Jen! And we are... Seven! To avoid this kind of situation, I am here, I am here, I am here to solve your problem and teach you to accomplish the different DepEd school forms. We are going to dig deep and show you the details behind all high. Every teacher is required to accomplish DepEd school forms throughout the school year. Every teacher is required to accomplish DepEd school form throughout the school year. This will provide a reliable assurance mechanism of the student's information to ensure the timeless and quality of school reports and to reduce the resources spent for records management. Get ready to learn and familiarize the school forms as we take a twister tour through the DepEd orders. Here are the 10 school forms. The School for One, known as the School Register, which is an essential document used in schools to keep track of students and for other important information. Gather the required information and put in the corresponding details to complete the information. It was maintained by the class advisor and is updated regularly throughout the school year. The Learner's Daily Class Attendance Form used to record students' attendance, absence, or tardiness. It is filled out by the class advisors at the beginning of each class day. Next is the School Form 3 or the books issued and return form that was used to track in which textbooks had been issued to and returned by the students. It is filled out by the class advisor at the beginning and end of school year. The school form 4, known as the report promotion, is an important document used by school to track the record and promotion of students from one grade level to another. It provides a comprehensive overview of the student's academic performance and serves as a basis for decision-making regarding their promotion. The School Form 5 or the Report on Promotion is an important document used by schools to track and record the promotion of students from one grade level to another. It provides a comprehensive overview of the student's academic performance and serves as a basis for decision-making regarding their promotions. The School Form 6 is document used in the education system to summarize the promotion and level of proficiency of students. It provides an overview of the student's performance and helps in making informed decisions regarding their academic progress and it was prepared by the school heads. The inventory of school personnel, which is the school form 7, should be accomplished by a school head at the beginning of the school year, which contains the list of school personnel with basic profile and teaching loads or assignments. Now, how about the school form 8 or the learner's basic health and nutrition report? School form 8 is a record of learner's health and nutritional assessment that must be accomplished by the class advisor or MAPI teacher. They fill out the needed information of the student such as LRN, name, birth date, age, learner's weight expressed in kilograms, learner's standing height expressed in meters, height, BMI, HFA, and remarks if necessary. For School Form 9 or Learner's Progress Report Card, formerly known as the Form 138, contains individual academic of the student's grade every subject, behavioral, and attendance report by quarter to be prepared by the class advisor quarterly. Now, here are some important reminders in accomplishing School Form 9. First, the content and format as prescribed by DEPAD Order No. 8 Series of 2015. And second, is the learner's name should be written the way it was generated in the School Form 5. Lastly, the School Form 10 or the Learner's Permanent Academic Record, commonly known as Form 137, the person responsible to this is the class advisor at the end of school year. It contains the individual record by quarter and school year. 
This will provide consistency and uniformity to lessen the bulk of stapled forms or even rewriting the same information. The school customized Form 137 whenever a learner transfers to another school. As conclusion, the Department of Education offers a different resources online, including the electronic class record, to help teachers easily consolidate data. As essential tools in Philippine schools, they facilitate effective communication and operations. They ensuring a conducive environment for learning and development. The systematic use of these school forms upholds the integrity and efficiency of educational system, which supports the well-structured productive learning experience for all students. Hey Bess, tapos ka na? Oh, gusto mo turuan pa kita? Ganito yung, ano, kumbaga, kung paano siya nakuha. 